everyone. So I've actually had a request to do a video about me and my store and kind of how I got to own a store at my age. Um, for those of you who don't know, I'm 19 and I own my own pet store. So this video is actually becoming quite difficult um, because I'm trying to think of what I can tell you guys and the list is overwhelming. Um, when it's about the legal stuff, I mean, there, I don't have a long enough video to tell you all about the paperwork and the protocols and such. Um, so what I'm kind of going to touch on is some of the first things you need to consider and some of the realities of owning your own business. So I hope this will give you some more information, uh, more things to consider before you go and make any choices on your own. Um, and, you know, just give you some more insight on myself as well. So first, you need to figure out where are you going to put this store? Um, are you going to buy? Are you going to rent? Um, how long are you going to sign the lease for? What kind of products are you going to be carrying? Where are you going to get these products? There are so many different vendors and so many different um, suppliers that you need to consider. Um, how are you going to fund this? Some people fund it throughout through their own money. Um, I did that myself actually. Other people get business loans and have to make a business plan and go to either a bank or perhaps a silent investor um, or a partner. Um, you're going to have to figure out what you're going to name the store. Now you're going to actually have to register that name and get a business license in that name. A um, lot of things that you have to do first and that's not even <laughs> half of it. But um, you know, if you've got all that figured out, just keep pushing through. I always had a list of things I had to get done that day, and, you know, if I got to cross two things off, you know, I might have been frustrated that I didn't get more done, but I was just trying to keep moving forward, and that's the main thing. So there's always going to be stuff to do. Even now, I've got so much stuff to do. I probably shouldn't even be filming this video, but I'm going to try and make it quick here. Um... Now, some of the realities of owning your own pet store, I mean, you can Google how to open a store, and you're going to get, like, WikiHow or something, and it's going to be, like, four steps, you know, well, first got to get the funny, you got to open up the store, da, da, da. it doesn't tell you about any of the realities of opening it. Um, so, for example, just to kind of get an idea of how much time this takes up, um, typical working week is 40 hours a week, that's full time. Um, I work 70 hours a week in store. That's not including all the time I spend answering emails, phone calls, dealing with orders and invoices at home. <laughs> so basically all of your time is consumed with this. It's your baby. It's your livelihood. It's everything. Um, now I was very fortunate in the sense that when I lived at home, I could work. I always worked either one or two jobs and majority of my money I put into savings. That's how I was able to fund this. Um, and then I had some spending cash that I could spend however I wanted. <sighs> That's a really big change to owning your own store. Um, for the first while, regardless of how well your business is doing, um, all the money goes back into the business. I mean, basically, I pay my rent where I live, I pay for food, I pay for gas, I pay for my car insurance. Anything that is a necessity, I will pay for. Anything more, it's frivolous and I have to wait because all my money is going back into the business. Either it's on advertising, more stock, uh, renovations in the store, upgrades, anything like that. So as much as I would love to go shopping with some of my friends, it's not practical, <laughs> unfortunately. Um, there's so much more responsibility than I've ever experienced. Um, so on one hand, I'm really proud of that. I'm really proud of what I've accomplished. I'm really proud of how well I'm doing at my age. Um, with that <laughs> being considered, I also get very jealous when I see my friends going camping or maybe taking off on a vacation together or just spending the night at the bar, or, you know, hanging out. I really don't have that luxury. Um, I could close up, but in reality, like I, 
I can't. I can't really do that. If I want to make this business work, I have to be responsible and be here and deal with everything. So there's a lot of things to consider, a lot of things to think about and make sure you're ready. Um, what I would suggest is if you really enjoy your spare time, you enjoy your spare cash, um, maybe you are serious about opening up a store, but perhaps maybe this year or even in the near future isn't really realistic. Um, and that's okay. Do it when you're ready. Do it when you're going to enjoy it because otherwise the store becomes a burden. It becomes almost like you resent it um, because you can't go out and such. And you don't ever want to resent it because that's going to show in your work. It's going to show when you're dealing with customers and you want to be in a good spot, in a good place mentally where you're happy spending all your time here and you're enjoying your work um, because you're going to get so much better response from people. So I know I'm rambling. <laughs> There's a lot more I would love to get into, but really all I can say is do so much research and then do some more. <laughs> do some more lists, right? Pros and cons. Just make sure you don't go into it blindly because once you sign the lease, once you, you know, get the business license and start buying and bringing in stock, you can't just turn around and go, oh, never mind, this isn't fun anymore, I don't want to do this. You can't. It's it's not like a job where, you know, oh, I think I'll really enjoy working here. Oh, that really sucked. Okay, I'll just quit and, you know, find a new job. It doesn't work that way. There is so much more commitment. Um, so I guess, yeah, sorry. I don't know if you can hear this, but my Bruce is <laughs> snoring at my feet. Um yeah, so anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope it gives you some more information to think about, to consider before you go and make any decisions yourself. And um, yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I lied, I'm back, and I wanted to show you someone. So <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. She's my little bearded dragon. I shouldn't say she's mine, but I bonded to her best, so I think I might have to keep her. Um, <laughs> anywho, I just wanted to show you guys a little critter because I feel like now that's becoming a habit. Um, and also, I wanted to add that I might have been a wee bit dramatic about the whole no spare cash. I mean, you just have to be smart with your money. Um, I do treat myself now and then, but it's far less than what I'm used to. Um, so I give myself a very small budget. I'm allowed to splurge, you know, once every three months or something. Like I said, it's it's very little, but it's not like I have never bought myself anything. Um, I just wanted to add that in because my next video is actually probably going to be a Sephora haul, and then I didn't want people going, well, I thought you said you never spend money. Um, I spend a lot less money, <laughs> just to clarify. So anyways, bye guys. If you liked it, please remember to like and subscribe. All right, bye.